and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hey, hello, my name is Meg and we do crafty things here. So if you like crafty things, please do consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, oh, thank you so, so much for subscribing and tuning in to another video. So today we're gonna start our night along. Yep, 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 yep. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited for this. I have been wanting to start this like all week and I just haven't gotten around to it. So we're finally starting it here today and it is pattern number 105968 off of bracelet And this year I left a pattern up to you guys. I pulled a bunch of patterns that I liked and I put it to some votes. We talked about some patterns in the live stream and stuff. And you guys voted on just a more like clean autumnal vibe whereas last year we did more halloween spooky vibes if you didn't see last year's not along i'll link it in the cards for you i don't know what corner it's in but it'll be up there um so this year i'm not dead set on having it done for halloween because it's not halloween themed so hopefully we will i i plan to post um like every day or every other day until we're done we can just chill and not together and it'll be a good time. So today we're gonna pick some colors, we're gonna get set up and we're gonna do a bit of nodding and we'll go from there. You'll see, you'll be sick in my face by the time we're done this, I promise. All right guys, so first things first is this pattern looks like it calls for six different colors. So we're gonna switch down to hand view and Pick out some colors, figure out what we want to use for colors or what I'm going to use for colors, and then we'll go from there. Hey, welcome to hand view. Please ignore my really gross nails. Um, I didn't feel like doing anything to them, so I know they're difficult not to look at because they're like the only thing on screen, but there you go. <laughs> Let's pick out some colors. So this pattern calls for six colors. It looks like Three of them are orange, two of them are green, and then we have a background color. There's a lot of really beautiful variations on this pattern as well already on the website. I think I'm just gonna go for this classic orange. There is a really pretty like blue one here though too. Not gonna lie, and there's a really pretty white one as well but I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to stick with classic orange. I feel like you can't go wrong with that, classic orange. So I need a light orange, a medium orange, and like a dark orange. So let's see, let's see, let's see, what do I have? I feel like the oranges that are in the actual pattern are a little more muted. I think actually for the darkest one, I think it would be cool to use this glitter thread. It's gonna be a pain in my behind, but I think this would look really, really cute as the dark that like separates the segments of the pumpkin. So I think that's going to be my dark orange or the darkest one. And then we gotta get a medium and a light. I feel like the light is almost like, mm, no, that's a bit too yellow toned. This feels like it's too bright. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we're going to do final consensus here. I think we are going to do burgundy as our background. We are going to do these two greens for our stems and we are going to do this light orange with this dark orange. I don't even know if that's going to be enough contrast. I'm nervous about this combo here. I think it'll be just enough. And then this copper and I think that combo is going to look real cute. Now the next thing we have to decide is, am I going to make this a bracelet? I could do a bookmark, but to be honest with you, when I make friendship bracelet bookmarks, I don't use them because I hate cracking the spines on my books and they're too thick. 
in my opinion or my preference so what am i going to do what am i going to do what am i going to do maybe we'll do a bookmark anyways let's do a bookmark anyways so i'm going to get my strings ready cut them out here and we'll meet back again when i start knotting okay so i've got this all set up now and i think You'll see I've be anchored onto a piece of string because I'm going to try and do a bookmark with the hole and everything on the top. So I've gone ahead and anchored to a string instead of a stick. And to get the hole in here, I think I'm going to have to do a few extra rows in the beginning. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that. I've got my burgundy already here and ready to go. So during this it's because i just came back from the movies with my friends we went and saw dune and i don't know i had watched the trailer like literally right before we went because i wasn't expecting to go and then my friend invited me to tag along last minute so i watched the trailer and i was like oh that looks kind of interesting it actually ended up being really good i'm quite excited to see like the way it's set up is it's definitely going to be multiple parts so i'm quite excited to see um a second one a part two i'm very intrigued by the entire storyline it's one of those it's definitely like slower paced where to get the full story it's very clear that you're gonna need to watch multiple movies i feel like it's kind of like lord of the rings where it's a lot of just story building until kind of the second half to the end of the movie and then you start to see kind of this plot starting to build so i'm very intrigued to see where that series goes it was very good so if you enjoy like fantasy um fantasy movies, fantasy books, that kind of thing. Might be up your alley, a little bit of sci-fi, a little bit of fantasy. And it had a lot of recognizable um, actors in it. So some of you have probably already seen this and have been like, yeah, Megan, where have you been living? Under a rock? But like, yes. <laughs> no, I just, I don't watch a lot of TV or anything, so I don't really see these trailers. I watch Netflix every now and then, but mostly I just watch YouTube videos now. And I think because I I used to look up movie reviews all the time. Actually, my, my movie review channel that I generally check in on if I'm going to go to a movie is Jeremy Johns. I enjoy his reviews and stuff, and I feel like he's fairly accurate. Like, there's some things where obviously it comes down to your taste. There's some things that I enjoyed more than... Um, how he reviewed it but that's generally the channel I go to for movie reviews and stuff. Fun fact there was a point in time where I loved going to the movies and like I would consider at one point um before I moved to like the other side of the country I was actually considering going back to YouTube and not doing a bracelet channel at all but doing like movie reviews because there was a point where I considered going to the movies like what to be one of my hobbies like I had seen everything in theater and I went I had like multiple groups of friends so I would go to the movies like I don't know maybe twice a week once a week at least sometimes twice a week and because I went with like different friend groups I'd see like different movies like some of my friends liked musicals and stuff more and others liked you know dramas, some like horror, that sort of thing. So I kind of get the whole shebang. And 
so yeah, that was a thing. And then I moved and they didn't have, they had like a very old movie theater here that wasn't great and it was way overpriced for what it was. So I stopped going to the movies and kind of fell out of that habit. And the movie theater here didn't have a point system. Like we had a galaxy movie theater where I lived before. So I'd collect points and then I'd get free movies. So it was like, at least I got something out of it. Here, however, um, I think they just started a rewards program, but they didn't have a rewards program. So you just buy movies, buy movies, buy movies, and you'd never get a free one. Whereas before you'd get like points or it was, I don't even remember. It was like points or every like six movies or something like that you'd get free. So yeah, I stopped going to the movies and now they've got a really nice movie theater and I'm just so disconnected from what's in theater that I honestly, I don't go as much as I used to. I used to love going to the movies. What about you guys? Do you guys enjoy going to the movies? I don't even like, I hardly even watch Netflix or anything anymore. Like I don't know what's on TV. I don't know what's playing in the movie theater. I pretty much exclusively watch YouTube. Like I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have heard of Squid Game. That seems to be popping up all over social media, like left, right, and center. So I'm kind of intrigued by that. I might watch that. If you guys have already watched it, let me know your thoughts. I also heard there's a bit of like controversy, controversy, controversy over um, some of the English captioning on it being not so great. I have a girl that keeps showing up in my reels and she talks about um, things that were translated from Korean to English not well. And some of them are like, seem like small things, but actually like change the entire character story. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, I don't really know what it's about. I may or may not watch it, we'll see. I am excited for The Witcher. I really, really enjoyed that show. And I am just, I since that I finished watching that first season, I have just been like patiently waiting. And it's the first show for me in a long time that I've been like constantly thinking like, oh, when's season two gonna come out? Normally I watch a TV show, I'll watch like season one and then I'll never get around the second season will come out I'll maybe watch like one episode or I won't even watch an episode of it unless just that like Stranger Things it was good but it wasn't great to me like it was good but when it came time season two came out I never watched it same as like Umbrella Academy I really loved Umbrella Academy and I tried to get back into the first episode of the second season and just I don't know like so much time had elapsed that it wasn't really like my vibe anymore I don't know I get that way with tv shows there's only a very small amount of shows that I've ever been able to watch like season to season and honestly now it's basically one and that show's done now supernatural I used to stick with it i'd go in and out of watching it but i'd always go back and like catch up on it at some point so if you guys know of anything similar to supernatural like similar to that vibe let me know because supernatural is like my absolute favorite i've heard some people say lucifer i tried to get into lucifer i watched like generally i have like a baseline for myself where I say okay I'm gonna give this show a try and I'm gonna give it six episodes is what I consider a try so for some shows that's like more than half the season for other shows that's barely scratching the surface so I generally try to get to six episodes if I get to six episodes and I am not interested or not invested in it at all I don't I don't continue like everyone was talk telling me that Lost was such a great show. I got to like episode six and I was like, 
I can't with this. This is just, I don't care about anyone or anything that's happening in the show. It just was ridiculous. So I was like, okay, we're not watching this. So Lucifer was one I was kind of on the fence with and then um, never actually got around to. So I think this row I'm going to start my bookmark hole, which is done the exact same way we do a shaped alpha. If you're wondering, um, you're just gonna pull your strings from the middle. So I'm just gonna find center point here. I just want, actually, no, I do want the center four right now so I can group together. Perfect. I'm going to throw these ones up here and then move these ones over here so I don't get them all mixed up. Um, yeah, otherwise, honestly, I've not been watching a lot of TV shows, but listening to... Well, you guys know, I listen to a lot of audiobooks and stuff. So that's kind of my new, it's not my new jam. I've been doing that forever. And TV is kind of a weird thing for me because when I was growing up, um, for a large portion of my childhood, um, we didn't have cable or internet at my mom's house. So like, I fall out of interest with TV a lot and there's a lot of times where I wonder if that's why. Cause we didn't have TV, like we had rabbit ears on our TV. So we got like three local channels and that was it. And it was kind of like, um, one was like a news channel. The other was like the channel that played soap operas. And then the other one and like, not like X rated adult TV, but like grown up shows. And I was like a child. So obviously I didn't really watch that and then um and then like the children's channel but like during the day it was for like little little kids so we didn't really watch a lot of tv and i sometimes wonder if the reason that i just don't watch tv now is maybe a little bit because of that i don't know okay so Interestingly, this is where I am going to, I'm going to do this straight edge on this side. And we're gonna to have to introduce another uh, burgundy string to not on this side here. I'm gonna use actually shorter string than this because I don't plan to use it for longer than this section. I've never actually done the bookmark loop before, so this is almost like a nodding dangerously on the spot. <laughs> Some of you have asked me to do like a nodding dangerously or a tutorial on this and I've never done it before and that's because like I said, um, bookmarks made with string I find to be more thick than I would like to put in my book. It makes me feel like I'm gonna crack the spines on my book and I don't like to do that. So, um, yeah, that kind of like freaks me out a bit. So I don't actually use them as bookmarks. So I've never really felt compelled to do the tutorial, but heck, I'll make a bookmark. Maybe I'll have changed my mind on it, we'll see. I rarely pick up a actual actual book now just because I feel like generally generally speaking with a child now it's not that I don't have uh, it's kind of that I don't have time it's like when she goes to bed or when I when she's at her dad's it's kind of like that's the time to clean the house and do the chores and that sort of thing so I feel like time is wasted if I just sit down and read but if I do like an audiobook then at least I can keep, I don't like how loose that was, at least I can keep doing stuff while I 
um, still consume the narrative, you know what I mean? I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks. Um, I'm in the middle of a Naomi Novik book. The Temeraire series, is that the name of the actual series? Yes, Temeraire book two. Um, I'm honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like it's good, but the other books that I read by Naomi Novik, I feel like I liked a lot better. That was Uprooted and Spinning Silver, I think it was called. They were absolutely incredible. That's what made me um, get these ones. And they're not my absolute favorite, but they're not my least favorite either. I've definitely read worse books. Definitely read worse books for sure. Oh, what was the name of that? There was a book that I read. Like I have never actually hated a book before. Like really hated a book and I disliked this book so much. What was it called? I don't know. I bought it because the cover was stunning. Like it was a really pretty cover. And I was like, maybe I'll try some contemporary. It was on sale and I got it. And it was basically like, like it was kind of a cool concept. Like a meteor is going to hit the earth. Everyone's going to die. How do you spend your last days and it follows like four or five different teenagers or whatever into these last days but I hated it honestly it wasn't very good <laughs> it was I know it had you in the title I don't even remember I got rid of it I don't have it anymore otherwise I'd like pull it out and tell you guys but I think that's the only book that I've actually been like I this is a book that I would cut up and use for arts and crafts like decoupage and stuff and I am not a person who is like when I see people do that it hurts my soul but that book I was like mm, nope I feel I would feel no remorse in mod podging the crap out of something with this book it would bring me joy to tear this book apart I disliked it so strongly and I really can't tell you why I think it was just that the book was like uneventful I was expecting it to be like oh one person you know like there's like four different stories so I don't know I was expecting one to be like an epic romance and another to be like um coming to terms with like family or whatever and it was all kind of like I don't know it was all just kind of bleh. you know it didn't really take off for me it just kind of existed and then they all died so I was kind of eh. but anyways enough time wasted on that um my question is should I just come back in and it would make it like a little diamond shape or hole or should I do a couple rows here and make it maybe a little more less diamond shaped? Nah, we'll go, we'll start expanding back out now I think. Mm. Yeah, I'm okay with that, okay. Anyways, have you guys read any good books lately? I'm in the middle of, like I said, Temerar book two. It's a fantasy novel that follows um, the sailor basically commandeers a ship and there's an, a dragon egg on it and the dragons like imprint on people or whatever or pick riders sort of thing and this captain ends up getting picked and his whole life is turned upside down because he has to leave the navy and become a rider and everything else so it's like it's pretty good it's just not um my favorite Naomi Novik book but I'm reading through them because um I think I got two or three of them 
all at once. So I have them. My Audible subscription is on pause right now because I have so many books not listened to in my archive right now. So archive, I mean library. So your girl's trying to catch up before she starts getting more. And I'm so rattled because one of my well, two of my favorite series are by Patricia Briggs, uh, the Alpha and Omega series and the um, Mercy Thompson series. And I know she's released another, I know she's released more books. And I'm just, I'm not looking because as soon as I look and see that, I'm going to renew my subscription and I really want to get through <laughs> the books I already have here. And maybe through some of the real books I have that I haven't read yet. I tell you what was a mistake though. I used my credits once and bought Les Mis, the book. And it's like literally more than 24 hours of listening. And I kind of regret it now because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to listen to all of that. It is a very, very long-winded book that expands much farther than, like, the musical play. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, do you guys listen to podcasts? If you do, leave me some recommendations down below. I keep trying to get into podcasts. And I have a hard time finding ones that I like. I just start to, like, I lose interest. I've tried to do, um, is it Welcome to Night Vale? That's, like, story-driven. Tried to get into that one, and it was a little, um, kind of the same as, like, the TV thing. I listened to a few episodes and just really wasn't getting into it. So I just stopped listening to it. Um, Potterless is one I jump into every now and then. And it's about a guy who's in his 20s that's never read Harry Potter. And he goes back to read Harry Potter now as an adult. And he has like people on from different podcasts and people who are fans of Harry Potter and stuff that um and they discuss chapter by chapter like each each episode is a chapter of the book and they discuss what happened in the book and he dissects it kind of like as an adult now and it's kind of funny because he makes predictions knowing nothing about the series and so like each episode he'll make a new prediction of what he thinks going to happen and as someone who's read it you'll kind of laugh because you're like that is so far out to lunch that is nowhere near what actually happens but it is a good laugh at times so I enjoyed that one but otherwise I haven't really found any that I really like lock into and like when a new episode drops I'm like <gasps> I need to listen to it and I feel like so many people like podcasts and I just can't get into them don't seem to be able to anyways There's one I'm tempted to try and find that I keep seeing clips of in my like Instagram reels. And it's a girl and a guy and I think it's, her name is Tori and they're, I don't know. Their clips are always really, really funny. So I think that's one I'd like to maybe try and find. But I don't really know what the actual podcast is about, so. If you know the podcast I'm talking about, let me know. I believe they're Australian. So if that helps anyone point me in the right direction, that would be cool. Okay. That's looking pretty good, I think. Oi think, oi thunk. So I'm going to push this out of the way now and pull in the other side to match it. This is... Ooh, this is yucky doing a color change from this side. I maybe should have. Okay. 
Okay, well, I maybe should have joined it in. Like over here and gone that way, but too late now. I'm committing. I am committing to it. Oh, and I started off with a knot going the wrong direction. Good job. Good job. <laughs> So Halloween is actually Sunday. I'm filming this on Thursday. Halloween is this Sunday. What are you guys doing? Are you guys doing anything? Do you celebrate Halloween wherever it is in the world that you live? I'm not really planning on doing anything. I don't think I'm dressing up. I don't think any of my friends are having like Halloween parties or anything because Halloween lands on a Sunday this year. And we still have um, restrictions and stuff in place. So I don't think we can really get together. Um, my daughter has a Halloween costume and she's old enough to kind of understand what Halloween is. So I think we're going to take her out and just do like a block because she's so little. She doesn't need a lot of candy. So I think we're just going to go out and we'll do like one block and then go stop by um, my friend's house. And that'll probably be it. Maybe do one block, two blocks with her. Um, but other than that, not really anything crazy. I don't think I'm dressing up. And yeah, are you guys dressing up? If you guys are dressing up, what are you going to be? I'm thinking next year, hopefully we won't see restrictions and stuff and I'd like to go as um Megara from the Hercules like the Disney Hercules movie just because I think it would be fun to be like the name is Meg her my friends call me Meg at least they would if I had any and just quote the movie all day long that'd be great because obviously I am also Meg anyways I'll probably by next year have a completely different idea in mind but you know, it's fun to come up with the ideas. And last year, I was just like a really, really basic cat, like pretty much just face makeup sort of cat. Nothing crazy. What about you guys?
So I think I'm gonna do something kind of weird here because I don't, mm, no, I could just do it like this, okay. So this is going to be the, obviously the bottom of my hole here. So I'm just gonna push this one to the back and then I'm going to carry on regular knotting with my longer string here on the left. Okay, so now I'm going to do just one row of this and then I'm going to start into the pattern because we've obviously, I've obviously done more rows than the pattern actually called for to start with. only seems to happen as often as it does when I'm filming. If I'm just knotting on my own, I don't seem to get these knots at the end of my string. For whatever reason, whenever I'm filming, it's like the universe just knows and they're like, LOL. Let's just, let's, let's just like give her a little poke. Give her a little poke. Let's just, oh yeah, there's not, there's not. Oh, look at her struggle. I swear to God, every time, every time I'm knotting, that seems to be what happens. Last year I did each section of the knot along like an hour long and I feel like that might be a little much so this time you know what we might be nearing on that already to be honest. That looks good. That looks good. Are you guys a little bit crooked? Sorry guys, I didn't realize the clamp that holds um, my phone in place, it kind of sits like right above the bracelet um, in the frame. So I can see that like it's in focus cause I can see the edge of it. But unless I like move and actually try and look around the clamp, I can't, I, can't see it, so I didn't actually realize you guys were a little bit crooked. But right now that's looking really good. I am enjoying that. It's gonna be fun to do little tassel and stuff for on it. Okay, so this row, I think I'm just going to jump into the pattern. So I know in my videos and stuff, I like count out stuff, but generally I count out like the first row. Tell me if you guys do this. I count out like the first row, I'll be like, okay, so on this side, there's two, you know, background color, and then I do my knot. And then once I have like one knot of the color of my pattern in place, all of my knotting is based off of where that one knot is and like the shifts in the next row. So like, in my tutorials, I know I count out, okay, now we're going to do six knots of our background color and then our white or whatever. And in real life, I don't do that. 
I count out like the very first row and then everything is based off of that. So if I screw up my count the very first row, the whole pattern will be off. <laughs> I haven't used it more like I don't think I've used any of it I think I've got a full like four bobbins of it okay now we need our dark green which is painfully mid-tone green I wish I had a dark green I should have I honestly thought about picking one up I went to the craft store earlier earlier this week almost last week now on Sunday I think and um, I almost stopped and looked for a really dark green like someone was just telling me to and I didn't because I was like Megan you've got so much string you really really don't need to be buying more and now I'm sitting here going I wish I got <laughs> a nice deep dark green string Oh, the irony. Oh, well. We'll make do. I think this is gonna pop nicely against the background anyways. Do I want, mm, I'm like, I see what I'm doing and I don't like it. It's not gonna work well for me, so. I have been trying and trying and trying and trying so hard to make the flat alpha technique do something special for me and it just doesn't so I'm giving up on it. I just, I think for some people it does wonders like I'm not saying it's a terrible technique by any means but if you knot tightly, um, it's not your friend. And to be honest, I can get a pretty flat alpha from the regular color change. And I'm not about to change 18 years worth of tension gauge for a single technique. So that's the tea on that probably not going to be doing much of the flat alpha technique on my channel anymore if you guys um watched my first episode of the alpha guidebook we talked about um original alphas in the first video i will cover like the um flat alpha color change technique in that little series However, I don't think I'm really going to um, switch back to it. I would like to do a video where I make the exact same pattern, one with the flat alpha technique and one with a normal color change technique and see what the difference is in my own knotting between the two 
because I'm always like I always compare but it's always like different patterns you know what I mean so like you can't 100% genuinely uh, see the difference because you're looking at different colors and everything else so I think that would be kind of cool so Okay, I think I'm gonna finish out this row and we're gonna call it a night. My camera here is saying that storage is low. And we'll come back at it again tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This is the same as last year, like the first, first episode. You don't really get deep into the pattern, so I feel like it's kind of boring. Like I should almost start the knot along from where the actual pattern starts instead of where I start knotting, but is what it is. Alright guys, so that's where I'm going to leave it off today. If you guys are enjoying this, are you excited to do the knot along, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you are joining me in knotting this fall um, knot along pattern with me, please also give it a thumbs up. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Bye!